Hey everyone, Nitroland Tutorials here, coming at you with another awesome tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to remove a green screen or any other solid background using chroma key. So this is the image we started with, and this is what we ended with. As you can see, she's all masked out, and you can throw her on any background you want. Have her in the Wild West, or on a beautiful sunset. So to get started, I'm just going to delete everything except for my original image. And the first thing you want to do is go up to select and then down to color range. And you want to select a green that's not the darkest green and not the lightest green. Somewhere in the middle. I think I like that one. And you want to make sure that this is inverted so your background is black. And the fuzziness, you want to bring this up pretty close to the top. Um, I think 172 will work good. And as you can see, there's a little bit of black on our image. But we can remove that later. So then just click OK and it created a selection around our person. And then come down here to your layer styles panel, right below it, and click on layer mask. And so she's all masked out, but there's still a little bit of her faded out. And if you hold alt and click on the layer mask thumbnail, then you'll be able to see it in this view. <laughs> and come over and grab your dodge tool. And that just makes the highlights brighter. Up here at range, make sure that's a highlights. The exposure, make sure that's kind of high. I have mine around 50. And then you just click in the white and then drag around. And you can do this pretty fast because it doesn't really matter if you get on the black because it only makes the whites wider, not the blacks wider. And then you can press alt and click on the layer style thumbnail again. And so now there's no part of the image that's faded at all. And then you can just paste the background you want and control T to free transform it. I want to make it a little bit smaller. And then hit enter. And we want to drag our person to the top layer and maybe resize her down a little bit just so that it looks more realistic. And then after that, you can click on brightness or contrast and bring up the contrast a little bit and that just makes it look a little bit more realistic and helps them blend a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like and a favorite and subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials like this one.